Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 stop. Stop, stop. Ah, this is the last portion thing I kept. Now you've eaten your own. This is my own portion. The thing I not give you your own. So you cannot share food with your brother. I don't want to share. Ah. Oh yeah, yeah. Just one or two spoons now. Now be fine. I'm eating your own. One or two spoons. Ah, I like to beg you. No share. Love. I give food to your kid sister. Only three spoons. Only three. Oh yeah, ah, your mouth. Food, I'm more shameless. Ah, my ah. baby. Which one is On top of my food, you're not eating again, no. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, beggy, beggy. Hmm, I'm not begging. Hmm. Oh yeah, be late for work. Mm. You be late. I'm not going for interview too. The one is work. Me, interview. Do you know how many people I'll see there before it's night? Me, me, me. Lie, lie. Not give you any meat. Ah, ah, it's your last one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Beggy, beggy. Bye-bye! No! No! Ah. Wow! Bye! I'm not Bye-bye! Mm -hmm. Beg you, beg you! Chances are very slim. A one in ten, I, I must admit. So I'll advise you stop trying. But I don't have a wife, girlfriend, none. Then get one. That shouldn't be a difficult task in this city. While at it, I, I'll prescribe some drugs for you and uh, put you on a diet. Hello. Emergency. Okay, okay, uh, 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 to the ICU, please. I'll be right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to go now. Please. My brother. Your brother is in the intensive care unit, okay? And we are doing our very best to resuscitate him. You know, why we do our best, instead of knocking around the hospital premises crying, I'll advise you go and start looking for money for his surgery. Yeah. Treatment has commenced, but there's little or nothing we can do without money. All right, sir. All right? Okay, sir. Excuse me. Take this, take this one. Hey, take it. Hey, I was here before you, Oga. I'm sorry, sir. Please, she was here before huh? Are you going to debit me or not? Okay, Ma, please, can I get you? Never! You okay? I'm here. Did I not come here before him? My this is an, this is an emergency. Hey, I knew you. From where? Are you not the one that intentionally bumped into me just to get my attention? Oh, so that's how you try to get rich guys' attention, isn't it? That's so lewd. Are you, are you normal? Are, are you normal? What are you seen waiting? I'm a whore or what? Oh, wow. Your words, not mine. I told you! That's how she writes. Then you should consider looking for a wife. 
Nah, that's not going to happen. Look, bro, I've built a life on my own terms. Strictly on my own terms. There's no room for anyone. You know, I've seen a lot of relationships turn into something suffocating. I'm not willing to sacrifice my freedom for anything in the world. Then you should forget about having a child. Unfortunately yeah. for you, wombs aren't for rent. Wait. What if I can rent one? Yeah, I can. Like a surrogate mom. So that is the legal process. You know, some sort of precautionary measure against these women coming back into your life years later to claim the baby, or worse still, run off with the pregnancy. So we do not allow them to meet with our patients. What we do is we take them to a comfortable place where they are properly cared for. And when they give birth, the baby is taken away from them. So, I won't meet the lady? Yes, you won't. You see, we carried out extensive fertility tests on them, and they are all fit. I want a living surrogate. I want to keep an eye on her, make sure that nothing goes wrong. Mr. Otto, that's not possible. We have professional hands that will take care of her, and I can assure you, nothing will go wrong. But I'm the one asking. This is my last chance we're talking about here. I can't take a risk of leaving it in someone else's hands. Mr. Arthur, that's off the book. You can't possibly do better than our team of professionals. Look, Doctor, what I'm saying is that I need to be a part of the process. I need to connect with my child. You know why? You can just hand me a total stranger after nine months, you know? Honestly, I, I... I don't know, I... You know, we can get a woman outside these women, right? Yeah, I'll have my lawyer come up with an agreement that uh, she will never show up after the baby is born. Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Morning. So I made a little deposit. Yeah, I already saw it. Please sit. Thank you. We're talking about a major surgery here. Mm. So I have to be honest with you. That money will go nowhere. I know, I know, but um, can you just commence with the treatment first? And um, But when it's okay, I promise you, we're going to pay you back. We'll pay you back everything. Just that first, please. Please. That's actually against the policy of this hospital. Yeah. We're, we're looking at nine million. 
Okay, you just deposited 50,000. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying that with the 50,000 I deposited, start, start treating him with that one first. At least let him be getting himself. Do you understand? Like, after every, every, I'm going to pay you back. I promise you. I'll pay you back, please. So we're talking about life. He's the only family, the only thing I have in this life. Please, please help him. Please, please save him. Please, please. I can see that you're uh, quite desperate and committed to saving your brother's life. Yes, sure, definitely. And you can make whatever sacrifice for him. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a sister. I can do anything to save my brother. Please, please. Please, sir. Please, let's save him. Please. I may have a proposition for you. <sighs> yeah, go ahead. Let's go. Madam, madam, this is not our agreement. This is not, you are wasting my time. I've been here all day. You are wasting my time. This is not our agreement. Oh gosh, you are taking me home, right? Let's go. Well, ah. if, if I have to take you home, that means we have to renegotiate. Re 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 renegotiate how? We have to negotiate that you have wasted my time. So we have to negotiate. My money now is 2,000 naira. Uh -huh. You're not serious. Because I'm a girl. Take, Jare. What is this? My money is 2,000 naira, please give me my money. The initial agreement was your money, I'll pay you 2K, right? But since you're not taking me home, it's half half. I have to give you 1K. What of my time? Which what time? What of my time? Which time? What of my time? I will send you. Yeah? I will send you. Get out of my way, Jare! I will send you. Excuse me. I will send you. Hey, 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 hey. You are a very big thief. Oga. What's going on here? Oga, mind your business. This one is none of your business. You are a very big thief. They didn't raise you to treat people like this. Okay, this is not your business. She's owing me 1,000 naira. Let her give me my money. Oh. Give me my money. Oh. Wait, so it's because of 1,000 naira you're flexing your muscle like this. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'll just give it to you. Take, take. Now make your, your, you. your life be like this. Your, your life man. will be worse. Yeah, you'll, you'll be driving until you die. I'll punish you. Punish your papa. You don't have to worry. Thank you. I've got my shit together. Uh, I saw how you got it together. Anyways, um, you won't be able to get a cab there. So you can just come to it. I just drop you off. Don't worry. Thank you. Useless man, let me your life. You go drive this cat, you drive this cat, let's turn it. Nonsense. Waka, waka. You go drive this cat, let's turn it. You will drive this cat, let's turn it. Waka, waka. Thief. You see, I told you you won't be able to get a ride. Too bad. Wait, wait, wait! Wait! Do you think you're on the same level? Stop this car. I said stop the car, you dead. Stop the car! Stop the car, unless I was being kidnapped. Stop! It's okay, it's okay, I'll drop you.
Man, I must say this is the first time a woman will put you in your place. <laughs> my place. What do you mean my place? Guy, the woman is just an ingrate. An ungrateful fool. Like I was just trying to help the idiot. Why are you laughing? Come on. She's not even in the in the league of girls I would actually consider. It's just a low life. Like she literally took a thousand naira and threw it on me and said for taxi. Imagine wow. that. For real? I'm telling you. <laughs> This is hilarious, trust me. <laughs> Bro, she bruised my ego. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let me calm myself. So, it's a more, much more serious thing now. So, tell me, how far would you doctor? Oh, no. He said he's going to help me find someone. But, are you very serious with this thing? Yeah, I am. Too serious. It's either now or never. And I don't want it to get to the never. <sighs> what? Surrogate? Nando, what are you even saying? Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me you're considering it. Hope you're not. No. Of course not. I'm not. I'm not. Why, why would I do that? I'm not even ready to have a child right now. So that proposal, it is out of it. Okay. <sighs> Remember that my uncle that stays in UK? I told him about this, our predicament, and I just pray he comes through for us. Which of your uncle? That one that abandoned you and your brother when your parents died. That was then. At least now, my brother is in a critical condition. And he knows. I pray he doesn't fail us. I pray he comes through for us. It's my only hope right now. My only hope. <sighs> well, don't bank on him, okay? I don't want to. I don't want to, but I really don't have a choice. Anyways, here, I got paid today. And for now, I don't really have any use of this money. And you know it has to do with life and death. Tina, no, 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 don't worry, it's fine. Don't worry, please. I don't please. understand. Is, is it that the money is not enough? Tina, no. No, that's not the case. What yeah. is this? You already accommodate me and my brother. That one is enough. I can't, please. Please, take it back, please. You've been trying for us, Tina. I can't. <sighs> now you're making me feel like a stranger. You know, James is also like a brother to me. I know. So well, what's, what's all this? Are you rejecting money? <sighs> you better take this money. Don't try me. Take Joe. What is wrong with this one? <laughs> This is too much. This is too much. You're always, always coming through for us. Always. You have never let me down for once. I'm forever grateful. It's okay. It's fine. And I don't want to see that face. Don't, don't even give me that look. <laughs> Listen, James will be fine. Okay. See, if anything comes up, I will still support you. Don't just think about that surrogate stuff. If you try it, I will kill you. Did you hear me? Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Tina. It's okay. It's okay. God bless you, you too. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Hello, Uncle. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on my way to the hospital now. Hey. 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 Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. 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 This man. <laughs>
But I see something, see something, see. What? Wow. She, she's so pretty. Eh? Who is she? Have you found a girlfriend for me? Please, please, give me my phone, give me my phone. Ah, ah. How many girlfriends do you want to have before it becomes enough? <laughs> you and girls. Let's see, like, um, 500, 1,000. You know the greatest man in the Bible? Had 700 wives and 300 concubines. Uh -huh. I'm destined to be great. <laughs> hey, okay, the so. <laughs> the more women, the more. They're going to say the greatest man because he was rich. He was, good, he was able hey, to I'll afford them. I'll but get you, there. you know. I'll get there. Mm -hmm. But seriously, seriously, who is she? Uh -uh, she's. Wait, what? She's my friend, though. Ching with my friend. She was my cosmate then. Mm. I don't see. Small girl, though. Very small girl. Mm. I don't see. She bagged the doctorate degree in London. Now she's in London. Hmm. I think I know where this conversation is headed. Mm. Nando, don't worry. By the grace of God, eh? you will do your master's in UK. Hmm? Don't worry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. No, that's always been my dream, actually. Yeah. I've always wanted that. But you know now, brother, you don't have money. Hey? You don't have money. So, this will always to remain a dream, oh, because you know what I'm saying? God forbid, though, but God says there's no money to remain a dream. You're so cute. What if I tell you I will send you to London? Hmm? What? You didn't mind? What? Can you imagine? Wait, I'll carry with three square million a day. You're taking the ladder? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. wait. Have I ever yeah, played with something yeah, like yeah. this before? No, seriously, have I ever played with something like this before? Mm -hmm. And with the same. <clears throat> You're my sister. Mm -hmm. My lifeline. My major investment. Mm -hmm, now. Eh? There is nothing I wouldn't do to make you happy. If you want to go to the UK for your masters, I would do everything possible to send you there. See, there's this um, contract that my partner and I are pursuing in the office. Okay. If it works out, Nando, if this contract works out, <laughs> I will get you the best of everything. Eh? You see, we'll move out of this place. I swear. Then you tell me anything that you want. Mm. Okay. I'll buy it for you. Please, please, please. So wait, what you mean is, if this contract clicks, there will be money on it. Plenty. Jesus. Plenty. Oh! Plenty. God, please! Mm. God, mm -mm. wait! Mm -mm. This is God, God has said please. no. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do not forget please. me, Abby. Why would I forget you, Nando? Mm. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you more. My cute brother. Mm. But when he clicks, eh, I'll look for the finest girls. Finer ones than Chiwe. No, let's start with Chiwe first. Let me even see her. Ah, no, Chiwe is in London. We're in Lagos. No. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe she will come back. Your money never long. Reach her side, I beg. Calm down. So, so after all these promises, I cannot give me your friend. Uh, when you promise first, I'll look for the finest ripe girls for you. You're your cute brother. I look for your spec, I look for your spec, big fools! My sweet brother, the only source of happiness. Don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. I will do anything and everything within my power. To make sure I bring you out of this state. I'll do my best. I love you. I love you so, so much. Doctor, 
So what's up? What's the good news? Oh, yeah, we found the girl. Really? Say it, say it. That's nice. You see, uh, I'm going to set up a meeting between you and her tomorrow. Okay. Um, so, has she properly been tested? You know, knowing a little about her is very important. My baby will be carrying her gene. I need to know her medical status, bro. She needs to be perfect. <laughs> you see, we're very competent, okay? We're professionals. She has been tested and she is clean, healthy, and decent. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I, I, just, I just hope nothing goes wrong, you know? This is my last spam we're talking about. I understand, but you don't have anything to worry about. Everything is going to be all right, okay? Nothing will go wrong. Yeah, uh, Mr. Rato, this is Nando. And Nando, this Sir? is Mr. Rato. You? you? No, I, I can't. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I can't accept this offer. Look, fine. Just get out of here. There are lots of ladies out there who will be jumping for joy to just carry my child. Then so go please. meet them. Yes, I will. Get out. I don't want her. I, I don't understand. Do you two know each other? What happened? Did you leave something? What happens to my brother? Well, uh, the moment this arrangement is concluded, we will commence full treatment on your brother. I'm only doing this because of my brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, old story. Why am I being confined? Someone needs to keep an eye on you. Please sign it. It feels like the end of the road. The end of the road. Oh, I try and try, but nothing's working out for me. Cause I've got nowhere else to go. And I'm treading on this road. It feels like the end of the road. Wait, wait, wait. For me. You're not serious. <laughs> Are you? Have you ever known me to not be serious? But I'm telling you, this girl must have been sent to just torment me. She's everywhere! But if you feel like this about her, why continue? How are you guys going to live together? Man, I don't know. It's not Dr. Reginald that convinced me. He told me it's not easy to get people and he told me of her condition. And I'll just have to try. I mean, it's just nine months. I'll compromise. But I won't lie. It won't be easy at all. Man, this is the first time I'm seeing you so walked up over someone. Man, this girl must be a thing to be able to mess with you like this. Bro, you won't understand. Like this lady is just something else. She has a mouth on her that I've not seen on any other lady. Her attitude is like yuck. It's very disgusting. Man, good luck, bro. I wish you the very good luck. And it's not going to be easy. This is serious, man. Yeah, that reminds me. Let me get your usual drink. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Why are you doing this? <sighs> Tina, I would do anything for my brother. He's my only family. I know. Okay, let me at least go with you. Okay, let me escort you. I know where you are going to. I signed a contract not to disclose. But don't worry, I'll be fine. Hmm? My baby, I'll be fine, okay? Some nurses were paid to take care of him. But I want you to also put an eye on him. Even if it's once in a while, please. Once in a while, you say. I will take care of him all the time. Thank you, my love. Please, but I need you to take care of yourself. Because that place you're going to, nobody knows anything. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Me? Don't think too much. I'll be fine. I'll take care of myself. All right? <laughs> okay. Um, it's written in the contract that I'm not allowed to use phone. So I won't be able to reach you. Neither would you be able to reach me. 
Okay. And also, please help me give him this later when he wakes up. Tell him I love him so much, okay? And I love you more. I love you more. <gasps> oh. So, yeah, um, the implantation was successful, but uh, of course we'll have to monitor her to, until the pregnancy test confirms her pregnancy. And my brother? Well, uh, now that this is done, um, I want to assure you that we'll commence treatment on him immediately, okay? Miss Nando, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Everything will be fine, all right? So shall we? It feels like the end of the road. Try and try. Sit. I don't want to. So this is if she's a midwife. She'll be taking care of you throughout your pregnancy. And um, hi, nice to meet you, Mom. I don't need anybody. I can take care of myself. Not while you're carrying my child. Please, your phone. What? I don't have time. Please don't waste my time. Give it to me. How am I supposed to communicate with people? I said, don't waste my time. Is this hostage? Please, make sure she's comfortable. This is Please. not right. I wish I miscarried. Uh, Mom, that's not a nice thing to say. Children are gifts from God. Uh, please come with me. Come with me. Come where? Good morning. Good morning. How was your first night here? It was horrible. All thanks to you. What's this? Your breakfast. My what? Why am I being served leave for breakfast? Why is having actual breakfast? Oh, okay, you know, because of your condition, you need something like this. It's good for pregnancy. I don't want this. I can't eat it. I don't want it. Am I a goat? No. Why am I eating leave, 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 leave? For what? Well, it's actually good for you. I said I don't want it. I if, can't eat it. So if you need anything, call me, okay? Okay, sir. I just said I don't want to eat this. Hello, I'm talking to you. Are you walking out on me? My dear... It, what sort of arrogant fool is this? Sorry, I know what is good for you. Please. Madam, I know what is good for myself. I don't want this. I want this one.
Who's there? Come in. Come in. Yes, what do you want? I heard you've not eaten. Yes, and that's because I haven't been served proper meal. You know what? I don't like it here. I cannot use my phone. I can't step out. Nothing. It's actually depressing here. I should have known what I got myself into. I don't care if you choose to eat or starve yourself to death. But you're carrying my child. So you have to eat for it to be healthy. If something happens to my child, what I would do to you, you won't like it. So find something to eat. Have you heard from my brother? Like I said, I don't care. This guy is very annoying. What? Hey. What have I got myself into? Hey? Eve? Eve! Sir! Uh, welcome, sir. Why is she eating junk? I don't know. You don't know? I thought I specifically instructed you to watch her. Watch me? Watch me for what? As what? I be like picking for your eye. You don't mind? See, guys, see, see. I've had enough. Maintain your lane, let me maintain mine. Please, what is all this one? What did they worry you? I've been trying to avoid you since. But you know I'm here, because I don't know your roof. Leave me alone now, what is it? Dr. Reginald obviously sent me an uncouth dog. Do this one, don't do this one, do this one, don't do this one. Instructions here and there. I can't be literally training for here. What did happen? Take that away. Yes, sir. You complained about boredom yesterday. I hope those will help. It's hopefully it helps my child become brilliant and not as dull as you. Just so you know, mister, I graduated on top of my class with a result of 4.2 CGPA. Just so you know, I'm more brilliant than you. Well, then everyone in your class must have been dull, including your lecturer. I will count fool. Juice. Not rubbish with pieces. This man safe. This man is very boring. What's this one? Who will read all these ones? The child will be a dollar. Mumu man. Mom, you need anything? Please come. The period is out. My period. Uh, how is that possible? Oh, I don't... Sorry. Hold on. Hold, ah! Hold on. Let me call Mr. Ah! Just hang on, please. Oh my ah! God. Yeah, um, there's nothing to worry about. It's actually called implantation bleeding, one of the early signs of pregnancy. 
So she will be fine. Yeah, she will. She will. You see, at this stage, she needs a lot of rest. You know, she has to avoid, totally avoid hard work and improve on her diet. You know, more of vegetables and fruits. And there is something I, I forgot to mention. I forgot to tell you that she's having triplets. What? Wait, wait. What? <laughs> I can't have three babies, so. No, at all. Never. My body can't carry it. Hmm. Doctor, how can you not remember to say something like that? <sighs> I'm really sorry. It's, it actually skipped my mind with a lot of things going on in the hospital. <laughs> you see, Miss Nando, this is actually a miracle. This is something a lot of women will be happy to, to, to hear. Doctor, maybe for him, not for me. I can't. I don't even know what it feels like to, to carry one child. It's now three. I'm not ready for that. No, not my womb. Mm -mm. I guess the two of you need to, you know, reach an agreement or something. How much? You, this man, is money everything to you? No, really, is money everything to you? Hey, where are you going to? I need to clear my head, please. I had radiation and chemotherapy a few years ago. It affected me. The doctor said I should have banked my sperm. I have only one left. And that's what you're carrying. You had cancer? Nando, I didn't mean to put you in this position. Trust me, I'm not enjoying it as well. Look, I like my space and quiet. I like my privacy very much, which having you around breaches the whole idea. I wouldn't have been able to get a child. That's why I needed to secure my future. I hope you understand. I, I didn't know. Look, I still assure you, just as we've agreed, as soon as this baby is born, I will make adequate plans to relocate you abroad or settle you here, depending on whichever one you prefer. It's all dependent on you. Things. Oh, I took them to the master bedroom. What? Why? Well, I instructed her to. Why? Isn't that where you sleep? Well, the doctors advised that. So from now, you'll be sleeping in my room. I need my babies to get used to me. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? What sort of stupid, stupid and dumb logic is this? Who told you that sleeping next to you will make your babies look like you? Well, like I said, the doctor advised. It's a professional instruction. You know, they are my babies, and I alone take decisions for them. The moment they are born, you leave this house. So I need to familiarize myself with them. You know what? It's late, okay? And I do not want to argue with you. I don't even have strength for all this rubbish you're saying. Go take back my things. Now! Sir. Eve, retire to your room. Wrong with you, this man. Why are you paying for tormenting me in this house? What's it? What's so stupid? Why are you sleeping on the same bed? For what? Mm -hmm. It's almost midnight. You should come to bed. To Don't bed. worry, I'm fine. I'm fine here. Yeah, I like it here. 
But what do you mean? You don't even look comfortable. Anywhere else other than your room, I'm comfortable with it. You know you're very annoying. Do you know you irritate me? Why am I even disturbing myself? Just suit yourself. Mm -hmm. Why are you staring at me like that? Look, if you're expecting me to leave this room so you can dress, that will never happen. Okay? You wanted me to be here with you, right? So deal with the problem that comes with it. Will you be civil and excuse me? Let me change. I have a place to go to. Oh, civil? You should have thought about that before inviting me in your room. Look, I'll give you one last chance to to get out of this room now, for me to change. Go to the bathroom and change. Jesus Christ, this man! No, no, come and see so that at least you will see what you want to see. I'm so shameless. What did I just see? Hi, you must be Nando. Of course I am. Who are you? I am the author's friend. I'm so pleased to finally meet you. Finally meet me? Yeah. I see someone has been gossiping about me. Oh, trust me. It's, it's not like it's actually in a good way. Trust me. And you expect me to believe you? Guy, I found out. I do. Guy, what's up? What's wrong? Wait, Guy. Did she just ease at you like that? Man, trust me, this is crazy. Sorry, bro. It's crazy. So that girl is messing with my mind. I don't know how long I have to put up with all this. It's just crazy. Yeah, it is very, very crazy. Extremely crazy. But then, she's pretty. It's pretty. That one that has the face of a demon. Look, I get it that you like light-skinned women, but this one, pretty. <laughs> Trust me, she is. Can't you just see? Like, she's pretty as hell. Can't you see how slow her skin? She's sassy, witty too. She's... Oh, God. She's my kind of man. You're trusting women suck. No, no, no. Just, let's just say the truth. She's pretty. Like, if, if she's not pretty, will she be your surrogate? Yeah, she will, because I had no choice. It has nothing to do with her face. Can you stop lying? We have options everywhere. Yeah, I beg, stop. Don't make you look as if she's one Miss World. Oh my God. Man, if there's anything better than Miss World, I'm going to give that girl. Can, can, can't you see her? She's pretty. Oh God, she's my Miss World. Miss Universe. Oh, my planet. <laughs> I swear, this girl is pretty. God, can I just go upstairs to meet her, please? You're my friend now, Afa. 
Give me now. Hey, but she's just gonna give it for you now. <laughs> Is that my cup of coffee? Oh, it's yours. I didn't know, sorry. So you saw it laying on the table and you just decided to take it without asking? I thought it wasn't necessary because I just saw it abandoned there. You know how you leave things unfinished? I didn't know, sorry. Are you even supposed to be drinking coffee while you're pregnant? Oh, that's true, that's true. Mm. But this one won't harm now, right? Just once. Just once. Eve, make me another cup of coffee. Okay, sir. And take that thing away from her. Okay. Mm, very nice. Come here. I thought I told you to keep an eye on her. So, sir. Thank you for the coffee. Eve. Eve, please tell this woman that she has something on her face. Tell her that she has it on her lower lips and it's disgusting to watch. Tell her to stop using her hands and use a napkin or a towel to clean it up and stop behaving like a village girl. Eve, yeah, yes, ma tell this man he looks so stupid and dumb with that flowery towel and striped shirt. It's giving illiteracy. My dressing looks good, right? Sir, so do you want my honest opinion, sir? I, I think Mandy is right. No, I'm sorry, sir. You look like those preachers at both stations. Sorry, sir, please don't be offended.
You know, if you would drop your pride, I could be helping with sourcing out your outfits. For a man who claims to be Polish, your choice of dressing sucks. Bad, bad. Mom, thank you. You're welcome. And um, if? Yes. Sorry, please come. Um, please, can you do me a favor? Go on, if it's in my place to help you. Of course it is. I want to step out. <sighs> but you know it, that is not possible. It's just for a few minutes. I'll be back in no time. Please. I need to speak with my friend concerning my brother. I need to know how he's doing. I don't feel like he's here. See, the only thing I can do for you is to give you my phone to make a call. That's all. If please, I haven't heard from my brother for a while now. I'm not happy about it, please. Mom, there's no how I can let you out of this place. Even if I do, you can't get past the security post. I'm sorry. Oh, you, you want to make use of No, don't worry. Thank you. Is this not my shirt you're wearing? Oh, this, yes. My clothes are starting to feel tight. So I decided to settle for this. You decided? How dare you? How dare you touch my clothes, talk more or put them on? Calm down, jeez. Why are you always angry? We share everything now, so why not clothes? You've lost your mind. Let this be the last time you wear my clothes. Well, I can't promise you that. Like I said, all my clothes are starting to feel uncomfortable and tight. You don't expect me to walk around the house naked, do you? I'm going to give Eve money to go to the market and get you clothes. Don't wear my clothes again. I don't find it funny. I will come to... <laughs> I don't like it again. You should be happy I'm even wearing your clothes. You're not even designer clothes, sir. Um, did you see? What are you doing? Oh, this? Hmm. I just suddenly started craving this. I don't know why. Hmm? doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes really, really nice. It has this mint aroma. You want to try? <laughs> you are disgusting. You just said disgusting. It's not my fault. On the norms, I won't be taking this. But because of your unborn kids, that won't craving this. So, it's not my fault. Hmm? Ah. If your plan is to go and take that one in the guest room, I finished it too. This is the second one. On to the next one. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. This is nice. That means smell. They enter, they go. Are you doing? It smells so good. Will you give me that thing and stop behaving stupidly? Oh, stop now. I can't resist the smell. It has this 
This mosque scent on the... <laughs> Just one minute, please. I think you need a psychiatrist. You're not okay. Please excuse me. Give me now. Give you what? Will you have other boxers now? <laughs> if you come near me. Please. Okay. No, what's this more? Are you okay? Something wrong with you. Mm, you're just wicked. You're just being wicked. What is the meaning of this? Are you this madness? Ah, give me, give me, give me. Wait, stop it. You know you're pregnant, right? So I just sent it to you. Okay. Please get us something nice and free. Okay. All right. I'll be going with her. <laughs> Please, you can leave. Please don't stay long too. I said I have to go with her. How will she know what I like? Well, you don't need to like it. You just need something you can wear around for a while. Besides, you don't go out. So if I'm not going, that doesn't mean I won't look nice. Who do you want to impress? You. I mean, I just want to look good and nice. Well, she knows what to get you that you like, right? Sure. You can go. This is not fair. This is not fair. When you're done standing, go up and take off my shirt. They're expensive. They're not supposed to be worn by someone who does not know their worth. I'm going with her. You can't stop me. Get out. Don't let her get out of there. Yeah. Can you? Security! If that lady crosses that gate, hey, you will lose your job. Leave me alone! Get her from, from there! Hey, you will you stop this rubbish? Stop. Have you lost your goddamn mind? What is wrong with you? Are you trying to enjoy yourself? What's this? I said stop it! Stop. I said I want to see my brother. Is that you open this gate or I'll jump out? You can't do that. Oh, really? Watch me. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me! Leave me alone! Leave me! Put me down! Put me down! Put me down! Put me down. If you, if you bite me, I will kill you. Drop me down. You just so Drop me down. down. Drop me. Let go of me, you monster. What is wrong with you? I am only a surrogate, not a prisoner. And I choose to do whatever I want to do with my body. Listen, let me tell you something. If anything happened to my babies... What babies? Do you even have a heart? This man, do you have a heart? My brother has been in the hospital lying down there being sick. I can't even see him. You won't even let me see him. What is wrong with you? Are you a human? What is it? Do you want to suffocate me? My health, my mental health is at stake here. Yeah. Why are you being so wicked? Why? You're wicked. You don't even care about my brother. All you care about is your baby, your baby, your baby. <laughs> because I'm killing your child. One phone call. One phone call, that's all you get. And please don't try this nonsense tantrum again. Sorry. Left this. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I, I ask again, where did you see Nando is? Um, um. She asked me to give you this. A letter. Why did she leave a letter? Is she alright? <laughs> this is a joke, right? Where is she? I don't know. She didn't disclose anything. What do you mean by you don't know she didn't disclose? She must really be out of her senses to think I'll let her throw her life away because of me. Tell me where she is right now, Tim. Oh. Uh, you see, calm down. You know you just got out from a major operation. You shouldn't be stressed. Please. I shouldn't be stressed. Tina, you have the God to tell me not to be stressed. She's your friend for heaven's sake. 
could you let her go through with something like this? Because it was needed at the time. You were in a critical situation and she, and she needed to help you out. She did all this for you. See, that was an act of bravery from your younger sister and you should be proud of her. Yes. Can you just listen to yourself? I should be proud. Proud that she's wasting her life, right? To save yours. <laughs> this is what is going to happen. I'm going to give you from now until tomorrow to find out where she is and tell me where to find her. Else, Tina, you don't want to try me. A few seconds left. How is James? Your brother is fine. We, we're back from the hospital. We are home now. Okay, brother, thank you. Thank you. Did you give him my letter? My letter? Did you give it to him? Listen, your brother is furious. He's so angry. What? I tried explaining to him, but it was just shouting. He's... He... He hates me. Yes, he hates you so much now. I don't even know what to say to him. He wants to know where you are. Then it's an ingrate. Your time is up. Uh, uh, please, please, can I call him? Please. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Hello? Uh, thank you. Uh, oh, James, James, James. I don't even know. See, I can't. Even if I want to, I still cannot. This is not my fault. This is really not my fault. I'm see how I explain to you. Hello. Hello, James. Hello? I've just let him die. Why? Why would he say that? It's my only family. The only family that I've got. Why? Why is he being so inconsiderate? Why? All of a sudden, he turned a cold shoulder on me. Just like that. <laughs> It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Look. When all this is over, you can go see him, okay? After everything I have done for him, after everything, he chose to treat me this way. I love him so much. I love him so, so much. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay.
I had to leave for an emergency meeting. I'll see you soon. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Do you like it? Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, please, do you know what time he's gonna be back home today? I mean, Mr. Otto. Oh, I don't have any idea. But I don't think he'll be long. Is there any problem? No, 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 no. Or is there anything you will want me to do for you? No, no, not at all. Okay. Thank you. Care for some? Oh, it's all right. Thanks. Uh, You're home. Welcome. What are you doing out here? Mm. I, I was waiting for you before I fell asleep. But I didn't ask you to wait. I know. You should go to sleep. Mm. Thank you. For what? Eve told me you were the one that made breakfast for me this morning. Yeah, it's nothing. All right, you have to go sleep. You can't be sleeping in the living room and on the couch. What is it? Do you ever take a break from work? It's past midnight. I'm working on a pitch for a presentation I have tomorrow. Oh. I wish to be like you. To work in a corporate office like you. So why aren't you working? Hmm. Well, as soon as I finished school, my country happened to me. I was actually on my way for a job interview that day when I found my brother almost lifeless. He was hit by a hit and run driver. Sorry to hear that. It's fine. So, are you an only child? I don't discuss my personal life with strangers. Sorry. What the hell? Oh, I'm enjoying it. I want to smell your balls. I like it. My balls? What are you talking about? What, what do you mean? The smell of your balls. I'm craving for the smell. Hey, stop it. Hey, stay there. Don't you dare come close to me. I'm serious. This is what I want. This is what your children want now. I like the smell of your balls. No, come on, get off from here. Be careful with the babies. Uh, come now. Come where? What's wrong with this girl? Come, come, come. I just want to perceive it. Come. Hey. 
Hey, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How was the night? Uh, I slept well. Thank you. Mm. What are we having for breakfast? Um, yam and egg sauce for Mr. Otto, scrambled eggs for you. Mm. Um, can you add garlic to my scrambled egg? Like mm -hmm. enough garlic. That's what my body needs right now. It's weird, right? Really weird. But it's good. It's mm. good for you. Add enough, please. Okay, sure. I will. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. What's that smell? It's found with eggs mixed with garlic. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Mm. You want to have some? Yeah. Like what, 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 why, why, why did you do that? I thought you wanted some. Did I ask you? Are you this dumb or are you just plain clueless? Did I ask you to put this shit in my food? I thought you wanted some. I don't eat garlic for God's sake, I'm allergic. Calm down. Why are you always yelling? You could just tell me that politely and I will leave. Why are you always angry? Angry, angry. Are you an angry bird? Eh? Please stop yelling at me. I don't like it. I know your house help. Please. What's all this one now? No wonder you're still single. Because no woman wants to be with a despicable man like you. Eve! Eve! Yes, yes. Must I call you twice? Uh, sorry, I was busy, sir. Who is this all? I swear this girl is going to drive me nuts. I swear she drives me crazy, bro. She does things to get on my nerves. Can you believe I woke up the other day to her trying to sniff my balls? For you? I swear, yes. Then this morning it was my balls. <laughs> so sorry. Your balls, I swear. Like, your blockers, bro, it's not a joke. <laughs> Like I was running around the house till I got tired. I just had to allow her. I was confused, bro. Like she does crazy things. Like crazy, crazy things. Like crazy, crazy things. Things you wouldn't expect a human being to do. Do you know she licked all the paste in the house? The toothpaste. Toothpaste. She licked everything. When I tried to confront her, she said it was pregnancy cravings. I swear, bro. Like she was licking the thing like an ice cream. This girl is going crazy, man. She's driving me mad. Ass is even better. Do you know that my, my, my friend's wife actually eats raw fish and she asks for a kiss here after? See. <laughs> See. It's See. Disgusting. You need to understand that it's not women's fault. It's their hormonal shift that probably affects their taste and smell sensitivities. It's either you tolerate or you know. I swear, man. I swear, man. No one prepared me for this shit. I... See why I like to stay on my own? I just hate dramas, man. See, <laughs> see you. You never even see anything. Like, you, you've not even seen anything yet. Uh -huh. God, the war is still coming. The <laughs> war is coming. I swear. Bro, you're not encouraging. <laughs> see. But that is the truth. Look, man, regardless of any agreement you guys had, she's going to be the mother of your unborn children. <laughs> After all, it's a hex. Your children will carry her DNA. And she's not even going to be part of their lives. That's a huge sacrifice. Okay? You need to show her some love. Make her comfortable around you. Support her. Let her know that you care. Let her know that you, 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 you are part of her journey. 
See, I'm sure that is going to ease things for the both of you. Guy, you need to loosen up. You are too rigid, my friend. Loosen up. Look, I got you this. Okay, look, this is for this morning and every other time I've been hard on you. Thank you. And um, I also decided that you can invite your brother over. Or better still, you could you could go see him if you want. Why why are you being so nice all of a sudden? Well, um, well let's just say I realized that uh, I caged you. I mean, caged in your own words. It's not a nice thing to have done. I mean, you should be free to live your life the way you want to. And also, I, I also decided to hand you your phone back. I mean, it's not like you're going to do something crazy, like running away with my kids. I. I fully trust you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I'll go get that phone. Thank you. I have arranged your outfit for the week. So you wear this for today, Monday. Um, I think that's all. So it's actually necessary because it's your fashion sense is, it's crazy. It's not making any sense. Okay, dress up. I'll go help if in the kitchen. This morning. Wow. I always look good at smart. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Sit down. Thank you. Okay. Eve, can we get water, please? spoken to your brother? Not yet. Um, I've been trying to reach out to him, but to no avail. 
I don't know why he's been acting weird. Thank you. My advice is keep trying. He's your brother and you're his sister. He has your best interest at heart, just like you have his best interest at heart as well. So you can't blame him. He's just looking out for his sister. I mean, you got pregnant out of wedlock. Every brother will be angry. But I did this for him. Why can't he see that? The moment he read me later, he just disowned me. It's not nice. I'm sure you know the right thing to do. Yeah. Do you like it? Something light? It's good. Guy, yeah, what's up now? Uh -uh. Where are you now? You know we're already running late. You're already on my gates. Okay, please come. I'm, already, I'm outside already. Guy! Up on him, guy. What's up? <laughs> good. What's up? How do you feel now? Yeah, how fun. Wow! I'm, I'm fine. But wait, there's something different about you. This is just my high. What are you talking about? Like, see the way you look. Trust me, wow, you look smart. Oh, the outfit. Well, she helped me pick it. She helped you? Ooh, is it Nando? Who else? Oh, I knew it. You knew what? Look, I beg, stop <laughs> insinuating nonsense. There's nothing going on between the both of us. She just helped me pick the outfit, that's it. I'm not insinuating anything. You're just the one feeling agitated. I'm not feeling agitated. I, I'm just reacting this way because I know you. Oh, see how cute you look. At least you should know the usefulness of a lady in one's life. Yeah, I'm not having this conversation with you. Please enter car. Where are we going to first? Yeah, we're going to see Mr. Williams. All right, all right. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Okay, Mr. Williams. So. I've missed you! Look at you! <laughs> ah. Welcome. What? Wow. Wait, this is where you stay? Yes, now. Look at your beautiful house. This Girl, place. you're living my dream life. You're it's enjoying. Sit down, sit down. Ah, sit down first now. <laughs> it's good. <though. laughs> Wait. What? Please, wait. I'm not just having a couch before. <laughs> you're enjoying it. Right, thank you. It's good now. Wow. Mm -hmm. How have you been? Ah, you're so shiny, no? Leave me. You, you are enjoying now. Look at your house. <laughs> what do you want me to say? So, Hafa, how is Mr. Grumpy? Is this distressing you or you guys are getting along? Okay, for the sake of the baby, we're trying to get along. <laughs> it's good you guys are getting along. But you're, you, you're, you really look full. Or... Mm. Yes. Maybe it's because it's actually going to be three. Well, let's go to him. I don't like it. If it was one now, hey, I would say okay, but it's only three kids. Ah. Hey. Don't lose my shape, oh, please. Uh, uh, How are you? I'm oh, fine. What would you like? Oh, sorry. Bad manners. What would you like to take? I have wine, I have juice, whiskey. What are you on, girl? What do you want? See my friend, oh. See the way she's sounding. I have juice, wine, hey. oh, so eh. Ah, like, you sound like Oibo. <laughs> if. <laughs> if. Yes, ma'am. Please get me a pack of juice and a glass for my guests. Okay, ma'am. Mm. Ah, ah. You even have a helper. Ah. Eh? I employed her now to take care of me. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Um, this is my friend Tina. Tina, meet my um baby daddy, Arthur. Good evening, sir. Welcome. I'm very happy to see you. Same here. Uh, let me sit down. No, no, don't. no, don't worry. I'll be upstairs in case you need anything. All right. Okay. Oh, welcome, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. No Thank you. Yeah. My friend. What happened? 
Ah, that is your baby daddy. Mm. That man is so fine, God. Look at. Wait, how can you be staying in the same house with that man for months and you've not fallen in love with him? Fall in love with you for what? Why would I? Can't you? Because he's cute. Please, please, please. He's not even my spec. He's not close to my spec. Don't already. say that. I don't know. He's a heavy woman's spec. He's tall. He's your He's spec. handsome. He's so fine. That guy is the most annoying guy ever. Don't, don't mind his face, so he's very, very annoying. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, he's not a woman, but his drama is too much. Tough time here and there. He's You're lucky. Lucky, lucky for what? I'm happy for you. Let him just deliver this child. I beg. I'm just. Uh, I'm actually hot. I am hot that the first reaction I got from him was to disown me without hearing my own side of the story. But I don't feel guilty about it. I don't. Because I already feel connected to these children. No. Can't afford to leave them all. <sighs> I can't. It's not possible. Okay. It's, it's fine. But you know your brother more than I do. I feel he's angry some sort of, but don't worry, it will come around. So why is he angry? Why is he mad at me? Why? I'm in this condition because of him. I am in this predicament because of him. He knows and that's the more reason he's angry. You know, you love, your brother loves you so much. Your brother loves you too much that he can do anything for you. He's just feeling guilty. It feels is the reason you're in this position. It knows that if not for the accident, you should be employed and maybe making plans on doing your masters abroad. That's why he's feeling that way. You should understand these things now. But it's not too late. It's not. I still have my future ahead of me. I still have time. <sighs> Being a surrogate is not a death sentence, is it? It's not. So why? See, Tina, I'm not you know what, just calm down. I'm going to talk to your brother and get him to come and see you. Okay, smile. Talk to him more. Yes, I will. For now, just focus on your bundle of joy inside of you. <laughs> I'll try, but talk to him, please. I will. I did this because of him. He knows. You should not forget that. <laughs> he knows. Smile now, it's okay. <laughs> hey, my boat is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll miss you. Take good care of yourself. I'll miss you. Okay? I'll miss you too. And don't think, oh, I'll try. Mama Ejima, take okay. care of your child. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. I I feel like we should do a gender review party. I thought I told you I don't like anything now. Mm, it's really not going to be big, nothing much. Just your friends and mine, just something private. But I thought that's for pregnancies that are almost due. Yeah, I know, but like, I just, I can't wait, uh, you know, I feel way too excited Care for us to know what we are having. We? Oui. Um, sorry, I mean, I can't, I can't wait for for you to know what you are having. Look, Nando, hmm? you signed the contract. You're doing this for a fee. All right. You can go ahead and have your little party, but just remember that.
Why are you punishing yourself? Why not go and see your sister? She misses you a lot and I know that you miss her too. I don't want to talk about her. Why not? I mean, why are you being so difficult? She's the reason you are alive today. That's the point. She threw her life away just to get me here. How do you think that makes me feel? I'll never be able to share the guilt. Your sister is happy. Yes. And you should be happy for her too. No, just hold on. I have just one question for you. If it was your sister that was in your situation, would you have allowed her to die knowing that you could have done something to save her life? God forbid. I'll sell my organs if I have to. Exactly. Nando is my life. Exactly my point. Your sister did everything for you. Why don't you understand? She loves you so much and she couldn't stand to watch you die. Don't you get it? Forgive her and go and see her. Listen, they are doing gender reveal very soon. You better don't miss it. And yes, I forgot to tell you. She's having triplets. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I guess if you're going to have a party, you need a proper outfit, right? Yeah. Oh my God, this is, this is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. I like it. Thank you. Um, let me go serve your dinner. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Everything is really turning out well. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. Happy for you, bro. Yeah. Hi guys. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to officially meet you. Same here. Um, just a little private something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's private. Again. You have it for. Sure, sure. Okay. Hello. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Hi. Girl, look Welcome. at you. You look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, sir. That, that's afternoon. his friend, Dave. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. So, you look good. <laughs> thank you. I have a surprise for you. Obviously, I know you do. But I hope it's worth it. <laughs> it is. Let me see. Let me see. Would you like to get anything? I'll see if I. Okay. If it's coming, okay? James! James! Good to see you. James! I'm so sorry. I, I, I... I thought I would never see you. I'm so sorry. Look at you. Come on. Come on. This is you. This is you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, so thank you. Thank you for fighting for your life. Look at you. Oh my God. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, James? Um, Otto, this is my brother, James. James, this is my baby daddy. Nice to meet you. This is friend, James. Nice to meet you. <laughs> She's so good to see you. So good to see you, Fernando. <laughs> you. I'm After sorry. all you said to me. I'm sorry. I was I was angry. I just didn't know what to do. But you're my brother. You should have understood whatever I'm doing. I'm doing it for you. Now I understand. Now you understand, right? Hope you're okay, generally. I'm, I'm fine. You don't I'm feel fine. any pain? No, at all. At 
You made my day. Ah. <laughs> so I'm going to be an uncle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your little sister is getting pregnant. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, who is going first? I think you should go first. Yes, yes, yes. You should. Because yes. you're the man. Yes. All right. I will go. <laughs> okay. You guys close your ears because it's about to pop. Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> What's that? It's a boy. <laughs> So, um, I'll hand it to the brother. Okay, okay, that's fine. Wow. Okay, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, second. Sure, that's nice. Thank you. That's a big girl. Come on, you're going to go for it. What's that? <laughs> Boy! Oh, oh, yes, oh, no. Now I have to say congratulations to you too. <laughs> brother, yeah. I want you to be. I want yes. you to be. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody's congratulating me, I'll be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to do this one myself. Actually. Yes, you, you should. It's no, it should be a girl. You don't mind, right? <laughs> Are you ready? We're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Boy. Boy. Girl. 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 Boy. Boy. Girl. 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 What is that? Name is for our born kids. Oh. Nathan. Yes, Nathan. I like this one. Ah, it's too common. <laughs> hey, look at this one. Ragnar. Mm. I like it. Ragnar Ko. Lord Brockney. Hey, but it was a good leader, a strong one at that. And a ruthless murderer. I don't want it. It was a scavenger. Not for my boys, please. Choose another one. Give me. Um, this one is for the girl. Let's choose this one. Look, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. So when are you coming back? Don't worry, as soon as the conference is done, I'll be running back to you. Mm. I'll miss you. You can say Jack. Jack. <laughs> you see? <laughs> hey, mischievous person. <laughs> mm. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my baby girl. Take care of yourself from my babies. Of course, I will. <laughs> Let me help you with your bag. Oh, you just it? like to carry it. Let's give mm. it to me. Don't worry. This one. And let's go see you off, okay? All right, love. Please take care of yourself. Okay? And you too. Is that why your face is like that? <laughs> Shut up. Wait, but I don't understand why you're feeling this way. You both kissed. You enjoyed it. You both made out. You enjoyed it thoroughly. So, why are you feeling agitated about everything? It's not that, actually. He has never used the L word. Not even once. Which makes me think he's not really into me. It's probably this pregnancy enthusiasm that is making him attached. <sighs> to be very honest, Tina. I love this guy. I love him so, so much. I feel like I'm into him already. I'm serious. <laughs> she finally said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you agree that you love him, Abby. <laughs> so then, be patient. 
Yes, you don't have to rush things. Just calm down. It's not too late for him to say it. Don't you think so? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Because I already feel connected to my unborn children. I can't. I can't too. It's okay. Don't worry, you won't leave them. Nobody's even asking you to leave them yet. You're just unnecessarily worried about everything. Your babies are not out yet, so why are you talking about staying away from them? You know we signed a contract, have you forgotten? Just calm down. They should come out first. Okay, she'll calm down. Yes, till then. Till then? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're okay. fine. So tell me, how have you been? I've been okay. <clears throat> I've been fine. Lover girl. Mm, big. What's up <laughs> your own love life? I've never heard about your love life since. What's going on? <sighs> eh? Don't even start. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I can't find anything. Yeah, I searched everywhere, I didn't see any. Um, I'll, 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 let me call you back. Dear Nando, I wanted to put in words what I have been feeling lately. You've changed my life in ways I never thought possible. When we first embarked on this journey, we clashed and I couldn't have imagined that we would be here today. You've shown me a different perspective on life. Your strength, your spirit and your unwavering determination has inspired me in ways I can't describe. You taught me the value of patience and understanding and you've shown me the beauty in embracing our differences. Nando, you've become an irreplaceable part of my life and I don't want to let you go. I love you more than words can express and I want to keep you with me forever. You've not only given me the gift of parenthood, but you've also given me the gift of your love. And I cherish it more than anything. With all my heart. Arthur. To spend my days saving elsewhere. I'm not going to tell you came through and showed me what it means to care. I could see the rays of a love again. Did you find it? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I just finished reading the letter. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I want to hear you say it. Say what? Everything you said in this note, I want to hear you tell me. Say it to me. I love you. <laughs> and I love you too. <laughs> Alright, baby. Bye. <laughs> this guys. is probably it To spend my days slaving elsewhere Not until you came through And showed me what it means to care I could see the waves of a love Hi hey. Welcome Hello. How was the trip? It was good. I missed you. Mm, I missed you too. Was it exhausting? Ah, uh, kind of. But it was fruitful. Where's your bag? Let me help you with your bag. Can I help you? No, it's heavy. Okay. Now let's talk. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. What's Surprise! Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> you guys went through the That's troubles. So yeah, All take right. it upstairs. Okay. I made you a special delicacy. I specially prepared this meal for you. You did? Mm-hmm. And it's been a while somebody did something nice for me. 
Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is it. Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to like it. And it tastes wonderfully nice. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I yeah. am. <clears throat> hmm? So there's something I... I got you. Okay. You know... You know... All through my journey driving down back here, I kept thinking, I kept wondering how best to do this. Like, do I go on my knees? Do I lay down on the floor? Do I jump up? I was just trying to get the best way to do this. But I guess I, I'll just go with the flow. So this is me going with the flow. <laughs> All right. Nando, mm -hmm. you fill my life with so much joy. Will you do me the honor of staying and being the mother of my kids, my children, our children, and my wife as well? Yes. You will? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll marry you, yes. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It is. Come here. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, come, let's eat. Okay. I'm not hungry. For real? I'm mm. sure the babies are. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. You'll feed me, right? Yeah, definitely, I will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you made this. Yeah, I did. For you. Just your cooking. Uh huh. Oh, beautiful women can cook. Of course, we can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So no, you have a bite. Me first. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? It's for you. Yeah, I've already packed in a lot of love. Do I? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Love passion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you like it? Yes, I do. Mm. So I just feed you. That's okay. This mm -hmm. is enough. Mm. Are you sure? I'm hungry. Mm. You're a good cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs>